take a mental snapshot of emergency nurse Maritza Beniquez and then consider the emotional and physical tightrope she's been walking at work for the last nine months without any protection from coronavirus. Excellent, like I could take on the world. Maritza was the first of about 600 people in New Jersey to receive Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine Tuesday at University Hospital in Newark. Her exasperation echoing the collective sigh of relief for frontline healthcare workers exposed to the virus every single day. But as we continue to explore potential concerns farther down the distribution chain after hospitals and nursing homes, the focus once again returns to underserved communities and their most vulnerable residents. The good news for our older population is that the efficacy for people 65 and older was still between 90 and 95 percent. To put that in context for the flu vaccine, we're usually happy if we get 50 to 60 percent vaccine efficacy. And when it comes to getting Pfizer's vaccine, which requires ultra cold storage distributed out into those communities, Dr. Stephanie Silvera, professor and epidemiologist at Montclair State University, says our local pharmacies will play a major role. Our um, pharmacies, our large um, chain pharmacies, our CVS and Walgreens, um, have the capacity for those uh, cold storage. In fact, we now have new details on the community based vaccine storage plan from a CVS pharmacy spokesperson who tells us for Pfizer's vaccine, quote, special containers that utilize dry ice will be used to transport the vaccine to our pharmacies and will use the containers to store the vaccine at the required temperature. The spokesperson goes on to say, quote, we can store them in our pharmacies for up to 20 days since our pharmacies already have standard refrigeration and freezing capabilities.